everyone. I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang. After being closed for the pandemic, the crown jewel of Buffalo Theatre District, Shea's Performing Arts Center, is now open again, welcoming the first leg of the national tour of Disney's fabulous musical, Frozen. Many of you may know Frozen as a motion picture, which has now come to life as a stage production, with the curtain opening right here in our hometown where audiences offered thunderous applause. Our John DeShulo caught up with the man in charge of Shays, Michael Murphy, and Broadway producer Albert Nocciolino at a recent news conference to share in the magic. I can't even imagine how euphoric, Michael, you must feel to open and welcome people back to Shays. It's incredible. It's been a long 18 months, and uh, to me, theater is most important in our lives. And to be able to welcome people back into Shays Buffalo Theater is super exciting. And with a show like Frozen, what gets better than that? I mean, you can feel it here the last four or five weeks. First of all, mm -hmm. uh, in a different way than in the past, I think, Michael, because we've been closed. Uh, so have the activity in the theater, to have the, all the activity on the streets and have the hotels and, and now to see the restaurants starting to open again. And yeah. it's, um, it's been a, a, a very, very different this year, but in a significantly wonderful way. Well, and, and then Albert brings up a good point because the theater's been active quietly because of the rehearsals going on. And that's unprecedented that the theater company has picked, Disney has picked Shays as the home base to kind of get things to, going. To do it all, yeah, to bring the cast in from the beginning from the very first day of rehearsal and bring them in. Uh, most often with teching a show, we do all the teching here and the performers are brought in for that uh, significant part of the process. But to have them here from day one has been really special. Ticket sales are phenomenal. And the fact that so many subscriber, subscribers have stuck with us this entire time. We have over 16,000 subscribers and that uh, coming out of this period is just incredibly heartwarming to me. That's an extraordinary number, but we know Buffalo loves their Broadway theater. Yeah. And we're proud to be able to bring it to them. And not only that, but Albert, you're such a, a long-time partner, a long-time partner with Shays. I mean, going back to Patrick and Tony and now Michael, I mean, this must be very special to you, too, to see that progression, not only through the pandemic, but also to see this theater come alive with such grandeur and renovation or restoration. Yeah, you've been around long enough with me, John, to remember when we used to say, take a look at this theater. We used to stand on the stage and remind everyone how beautiful it is. and and. Uh, we don't have to say that anymore. This community, and I know I'm repeating myself because you've heard me say this before, has put their arms around Shays and embraced it and said, this is ours. Uh, you know, I've heard many people talk about the arts in this community. And we're, this is a great theater town. Shays is the anchor of the theater district uh, and for a very good reason. And uh, we're so proud of the support from everyone in Western New York, as Michael mentioned, to have 16,000 subscribers coming off. 18 months of being shut down is, is nothing less than unbelievable. Before we meet the cast, Jack Eldon, a vice president at Disney Theatrical Productions, offered more on the significance of this production opening at Shays. The Frozen National Tour and our performance tomorrow evening will be the first one of our shows in North America to play to audiences. Uh, Frozen will soon be joined by our uh, uh, Broadway productions of The Lion King and Aladdin and our national tour of The Lion King. Uh, but just think, Tomorrow night, Frozen in Buffalo will be the first in North America. Bringing Frozen to Buffalo is so important to us at Disney Theatrical. It's not only important to our critical worldwide success, but also uh, it's, a, it's important as the first step to reopening the economy here in Buffalo, providing hundreds of jobs to people who've been out of work for a year and a half. So we are deeply honored to play a part in that. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night through September 24th. Thank you so much. Michael. 
The impact of Frozen has warmed up the local economy, according to Mary Roberts, a member of the board of directors of Visit Buffalo Niagara. This show will greatly enhance our community's tourism economy and as Jack mentioned, it will generate significant economic impact. Not only will the show foster tourism, but it will help fill our restaurants and our hotel rooms. People don't realize the real impact of what these shows bring to our community, but I'm going to give you a couple stats. Between the Frozen cast, the crew, the staff, the creative team, they bring 3,000 hotel room nights to Western New York. We add in the teching groups from Tootsie and To Kill a Mockingbird this season, there's another 4,000 room nights. Other hotel nights from other shows and out-of-town visitors who spend time here in Buffalo, who spend the night in Buffalo, that's another 3,000. It's a total of 10,000 hotel room nights in one season. It's pretty impressive if you ask me. Shea's Buffalo Theater and the Buffalo Theater District means so very much to this community and it attracts an audience that is not only local but also from nearby states and hopefully very soon from Canada. And in the broader cultural sense, as we reopen Western New York and return to normal, this production and others at Shea's will be critical building blocks in the reopening of our tourism and hospitality industries. So we invite all of you that are watching to be part of the reopening of Shea's Buffalo Theater and come together with your family, with your friends, and the Buffalo community for a shared live experience. It's been a long time. When we come back, we'll meet some of the cast members of the Disney production of Frozen on stage at Shea's.